to discuss the publication of a new food systems policy tool that's been developed by the Global Panel on Agriculture and Food Systems for Nutrition. I'm delighted to be joined by Anna Lati, who is Professor of Nutrition at the University of Ghana, as well as former Director of Nutrition at the Food and Agricultural Organization of the United Nations. Professor Lati, good to see you and thank you for joining us. Thank you very much, Darren. It's a pleasure to be here. Now, we've just had the United Nations Food Systems Summit, which has provided a real and unique opportunity for policymakers to act on their food systems so they are more sustainable and provide healthier diets. Professor Lati, if I may ask, how do you think the Global Panel's Food Systems Policy Tool can help policymakers deliver on some of the commitments they've made at this historic summit? So thank you, Darren. Um, at the Food Systems Summit, countries made commitments and pledges on actions they are going to take to transform their food systems. We all know that food systems are complex and will require actions on many fronts, but often resources are limited, requiring that we prioritize our actions. I think the Global Panel Food Systems uh, Policy Tool will guide policymakers and implementers through this process of prioritization to enable the countries to deliver on the commitments they have made. Thank you, Professor Lati. Now the FAO were a key partner in helping develop and test this tool. So as former director of nutrition there, you'll be very familiar with its workings. May I ask then how you think that policymakers, policy officials on the ground might interact with this tool to help their decision-making process? Perhaps using examples from Ghana where Policymakers are very forward thinking in terms of food systems and nutrition. Yeah, I see the tool being very helpful to policymakers and implementers. For example, in the case of Ghana, Ghana has made commitments, about 10 or 11 commitments, on how it's going to transform its food systems. For example, we committed to increase the production of fruits and vegetables uh, by about 40% by 2027. Okay, and also we committed to develop food-based dietary guidelines by 2022 and implement them. These are laudable, but sometimes, as I mentioned earlier, there are resource constraints requiring that we prioritize. And the beauty of the policy tool is that it brings different stakeholders together to think through the process and identify the implementation actions, implementable actions that can move forward the process in achieving the commitments. And this is the way I see it, that countries can also take advantage of these policy tools. Thank you, Professor Lati. A real insight into the nutrition policy landscape in Ghana. I also like this idea that the policy tool is not just a nutrition tool, but actually a stakeholder engagement tool to help build collaboration. Can I ask, in your role as a policy advisor, if you were in a room with a policymaker, policy official, or key decision maker, with a copy of the tool in your hand, what would be your take home message for them? We have the pledge and commitments that have been made. We have the global panel policy tool ready. Bring them together and let it work. So let's move on with it. That's the way I see it. Absolutely. Anna Lati, Professor of Nutrition at the University of Ghana, and former Director of Nutrition at the FAO. It's always a pleasure speaking with you. I do hope we get to speak again soon. And thank you for your time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.